Ahu Real Estate Market Update for February 2022. In this video, I'll discuss the latest stats from January for the Oahu Real Estate Market. Hi, my name is Duke Ong and I'm a real estate agent in Honolulu. I'm going to share the latest housing market update for the island of Oahu. I'm going to dive into the stats behind the sellers market that we're still seeing on Oahu. First, I'll talk about the overall market stats for Oahu single-family homes and condos. Then, I'll go over the local market numbers for each neighborhood. Before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you have any questions about real estate, please reach out to me. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd love to help. For single-family homes, year-to-date close sales are up 12% since last year to 326 homes sold. For condos, closed sales are up by 41% to 552 condos sold compared to last year. Compared to last month, closed sales for single-family homes and condos decreased slightly. Median single-family home price remains constant compared to last month with a 18.9% year-to-date increase since last year to almost 1.05 million. Condo prices went up by 12.8% to 510,000. The trend of steady escalating price appreciation remains unchanged. For single-family homes, median year-to-date days on market increased by 33% to 12 days. For condos, year-to-date days on market dropped to 14 days, which is a 22% decrease since last year. This shows that competition for condos is heating up relative to single-family homes, likely due to affordability issues. New listings have decreased to 320 homes this month. This is a 12.3% decrease since last year. For condos, new listings are up by 1.1% to 666 condos this month. Compared to last month, there has been an increase in listings, but these are still lower than past months. For single-family homes, pending sales are down by 4.3% to 315 homes in escrow. On the condo side, pending sales are up by 7.5% to 574 homes in escrow. The lower number of pending sales is a direct effect of lower inventory. Months of inventory for single-family homes remains very low at 0.8 months. Compared to last year, this was a decrease of 38.5%. Condo months of inventory is also down by 56% to 1.6 months of inventory. These remain unchanged from last month. The number of active listings for single-family homes is now 311 homes. This is down by 25.4% since last year. For condos, active listings decreased by 31% to 967 condos. For single-family homes, percent of list price received is now 101.6%, which is slightly lower than last month. Condos' percent of list price received is still 100%, unchanged from last month. This shows that the market remains a strong seller's market. If you look at the stats for single-family homes by price bracket, we can see that the highest demand, as shown by days on market and percentage of list price received, is between 700,000 and 1.5 million. There is only 0.3 to 0.6 months of inventory for homes between 600,000 and 1.5 million. In the luxury segment of $3 million or more, months of inventory drop to 4.9 months. This means that buyers are forced to move up in price point to get what they want, shown by the decrease in inventory in higher price points. For condos, the pricing tiers with highest demand are between 400,000 and 700,000, with days on market of 9 to 13 days. Months of inventory are also lowest here, at 1 to 1.1 months. At below 400,000, condos are seeing slightly higher days on market. Between 700,000 and 1 million, demand has increased, indicated by months of inventory of only 1.7 months. Comment below and let me know where you think the Oahu market is heading. Now, let's look at the numbers for each neighborhood on Oahu, year to date. Ainahaina Kuli'o'o single family home median price is down by 20% to 1.35 million. Median days on market are 8 days. There were only 5 closed sales so far this year, which means the sample size is too small to make any sweeping generalizations. For Alamoana Kakako, most of the inventory consists of condos. The median condo price increased by 17% to 790000 and days on market are 29 days. This means this neighborhood has hit an inflection point, where demand is starting to meet supply and prices should start moving up again. For downtown Nuwanu, single-family home prices are up by 5% to 1.24 million. Days on market are 11 days. Condo prices are down by 12% to 505,000, and days on market are 17 days. For the Everplane, single-family home prices are up by 18% to 920,000. Days on market are 10 days. 
For condos, prices are up 17% to 687500 and days on market are 9 days. This area continues to be red hot. For Hawaii, single family home prices decreased by 3% to 1.395 million and days on market are 16 days. For condos, prices are up by 23% to 821,000 and days on market are 11 days. For Kailua, Waimanalo, single family home prices increased by 19% to 1.565 million and days on market are 10 days. For condos, median price is up by 28% to 735,000 and days on market are 11 days. In Kalihi Palama, single family home prices are up by 1% to 870,000 days on market are 21 days. On the condo side, median price is up to 470,000 and days on market are 22 days. For Kaneohe, the single family home median price is now 1.325 million and days on market are 11 days. For condos, the median price increased to 712,500 and days on market are 8 days. For Kapahulu Diamond Head, the median single family home price is 1.55 million, days on market are 37 days. For condos, the median price is 580,000 and days on market are 55. For Makaha Nanakuli, the median single family home price is 720,000 and days on market are 16 days. Condo median price increased to 237,500 and days on market are down to 8 days. For Makakilo, the median single family home price is 994,000 and days on market are 15 days. For condos, median price increased to 537,500 and days on market are 9 days. For Makiki Mo'ili'ili, the median single family home price is 1.65 million and days on market are 22 days. For condos, median price increased to 396,250 and days on market are 13 days. The Mililani median single family home price is 1.05 million and days on market are 16 days. For condos, median price increased to 512,500 and days on market are 9 days. The Monolua Salt Lake median single family home price is 1.105 million, days on market are 20 days. For condos, the median price increased to 441,000 and days on market are 15 days. For the North Shore, the median single family home price is 1.65 million, days on market are 55 days. For condos, median price is 850,000 and days on market are 6 days. For Pro City Aea, the median single family home price is 1.123 million and days on market are 12 days. For condos, median price increased to 459,000 and days on market are 15 days. For Wahiwa, the median single family home price is 925,000 and days on market are 11 days. For condos, median price is 132,000 and days on market are 14 days. The Wailai Kahala median single family home price is 2.115 million days on market are 10 days. For condos, median price increased to 572,500 and days on market are 10 days. For Waikiki condos, which make up the majority of the inventory, median price increased to 424,000 and days on market are 35 days. For Waipahu, the median single family home price is 842,000 and days on market are 9 days. For condos, the median price is up to 490,000 and days on market are 9 days. For the Windward Coast, the median single family home price is 2.085 million, days on market are 48 days. For condos, there were no closed sales in January. As for bidding wars, the top 5 single family no neighborhoods with the highest percentage of list price received are 1. Ainahaina Kulio at 113.4%, 2. Monolua Salt Lake at 109.8%, 3. Wailaikahala at 105.6%, 4. Pearl City Aea at 105.2% and 5. Wahiwa at 103.4%. On the condo side, the top 5 neighborhoods with the highest percentage of list price received are 1. Kaneohe at 104.5% 2. North Shore at 103% 3. Eva Plain at 102.9% 4. Mililani at 102.6% and 5. Waipahu at 101.9%. This ratio can give you an idea of how much competition you're up against if you're a buyer. If you're a seller, you may be able to list a little bit higher within reasonable comps. Because the year-to-date data only includes January so far, the data set is too small to make sweeping generalizations. However, there does appear to be signs of the market shifting a bit away from being an ultra-competitive seller's market. As rates go up, I expect demand to drop off. However, if you're a conventional buyer, Waiting for the market to shift may not be a viable strategy if your borrowing power is diminished. 
If you're a cash buyer, there may be pockets of opportunity this year, if you're patient. If you're a seller, it may be a good time to list before the projected rate hikes. Alright guys, that's it for this month's update. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, click the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell next to that to continue to learn more about real estate on Oahu. If you're looking to relocate to Oahu, I'd love to help you out. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.